Hello. Hi. Uh, so, it's been a while since I've done a um, ramble, like just pure talking about a book I finished, because I really have not been, um, well, no, I have been listening to books and I have been reading, just uh, haven't gotten around to recording my thoughts on them. So today, I'm going to rectify that by talking about the Kaiju Preservation Society. And, uh, oh boy, it's a good one. <laughs> that's a good, that's a whole boy of a good one. And uh, Mothra here is going to join me because uh, she is my favorite kaiju. She is good bean. And uh, as I remember, I'll have my notes here. I'll try to do my best to not rely on them, but, you know, if I'm going to be reading from a book and you guys watch me stream it, I don't think you mind reading me from, mind me reading from my own notes, would you? Either way, you don't have a say. I'm going to do what I do. So anyways, um, yeah. oh Godzilla, where do I start? Oh gosh, so I don't remember where I heard of this book. It's um, definitely one of the newer ones on my to-read list. It's, um, what? well, now that I've got the book with me, I'm thinking about it. Pull that Rathalos, thank you. When was this published? No, it does not have a... Okay, here we go. Um, night. Ooh. Okay, yeah, fairly new. Last year, twenty twenty two. So, um, it must have been one of my. I. If you can't tell, I have a lot of fandoms that I very much enjoy, and one of them happens to be Tokusatsu. And uh, I have. Fairly, this is a fairly new uh, fandom to me. I've kind of enjoyed. Um, I haven't really gotten into it like a deep dive of kaiju and tokusatsu. I did enjoy Power Rangers when it came out, and uh, I'm talking like OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, yeah, as I say that, I'm staring at a keychain of. Bandora, the um, the evil witch. God, I forgot what her English name was. Was it Bandora? Either way, immaterial. But yeah, so Tokusatsu. I have been a fan of Tokusatsu, but not enough to go kind of um, ADD deep dive, hyperfixation, until the twenty nineteen, was it twenty twenty fourteen Legendary Godzilla. And, uh, needless to say, I've been hooked since then. I had gone back and did a little research. I mean, I knew of Mothra, I knew of Godzilla since, I would say, the TriStar Godzilla movie, which, no, I have not seen. Um, I don't remember why I didn't see it. I think it was just because big scary monster, big scary movie. No, I, I am a, uh, I'm a little wuss. I don't like scary movies. Um, and it did look like a very scary movie to me. But, uh, either way, no, I have not seen the Trisaw one. I, um, I also really had a lot of people talking about Godzilla around me that I got curious and looking into it. So anyways, um, yeah, so that long tangent aside, I have a few podcasts, Kaiju, um, focused podcasts, and so they mentioned it, and I looked it up, you know, I put it on my to-read to list, and, um... When I went and looked up the uh, Iron Widow book and Axiom's End from the library, I found out that they had a copy of said book. So I was like, okay, well, kill three birds with one stone. Let's go. And uh, I kind of wish I had read this one last. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I have the... Um, 
Axiom and the second book of that series or the final book, I don't know. Lindsay has not, I don't follow Lindsay on any social media and she kind of shut down her, all her so social medias after a, uh, after an incident, which uh, it's not, not the topic of this conversation. Uh, so I'm not going to mention it, but either way, I have the second book. I still have to read it and I'm, uh, I'm a little iffy on it. I will read it, but I'm a little iffy on it. Might, um, might make that my second book of the Twitch stream because that's going to be something that I'm going to probably have to force myself through. But then it's like a second book of a series and you kind of need the first book and I don't want to reread. Either way, besides the point, we're here to talk about Kaiju. Like specifically, this book. So, oh Godzilla, where do I begin? So, um, oh yeah, after I, after, even before I got through chapter, f I, I, what was it? I just finished chapter three and I was already get, trying to get people to read this book because I needed to talk to someone about it, which is why I'm doing this. So I can also tell you, read the goddamn book. This is one of the few fives that I have for this year so far. Uh, five stars, 10 out of 10. Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is also another one that I kind of want to get my own copy of because I want to mark up a lot of the really funny bits that there are, and there are quite a bit of funny bits in this book. The, um, it's first person and the MC is, well, yeah, he's sarcastic very straight to the point and yeah he it, it's it's science it's not like science it is science fiction it is hard science fiction according to one of my friends and his um his definition of hard science fiction is which in where the science of the science fiction drives the story or instead of saying like Oh, the science fiction is just kind of an aspect of the world. Now, this is, so, you don't really figure it out until kind of towards the end of the book, but this is hard science fiction. And, but it's so well written that it's not in your face. And, okay, not to gripe on Michael Crichton, but honestly, I kind of like this book better than Jurassic Park. And because it's let like it's less in your face on the science like the science is there don't get me wrong but it's okay it's dumbed down for the average person it's not nitpicky intellectual high you have to have like a degree in this science in order to get it no it's it's simple straight to the point Despite the fact that it's in a fucking parallel universe in which kaiju are the main uh, organism, the, the main, you know, hierarchy, apex predator, and they are living reactors, living nuclear reactors. And also, um, so yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, uh, also, it had me laughing out loud in public and I don't really I, and I didn't care. People would look at me funny. I don't care. I was enjoying this book too much. Um, the buildup was slow. Yes. Um, but honestly, it wasn't until the actual shit hit the fan that you realized, oh, it was a slow buildup because you were given everything you need to understand the world and to understand how how the characters saved the day essentially because you you learned with them how the world works so when again shit hits the fan they can use that to their advantage and save the day um the uh again going back to the, the characters the main character is snarky 
and his friends are Hoot, including the ones you only see at the beginning and end of the book, the roommates. Oh, the roommates are fun, especially one of them. It's like, napalm is a thing, napalm is not a thing. <laughs> the, the, the characters of this book are just a hoot. Um, they, they, they really did mesh well together. Like, they, they have a camaraderie. A camaraderie that feels actually very natural. Um, it also helps that the, the main character, like the one you see through, the, the one whose point of view you see through, plus the other three big ones are all very new to this world, so we are learning along with them. But it's just, they, they, they mesh well. And then there's something that I also really liked about this one is, I, and I noticed this like halfway through the book, you do not get a physical description of any of the human characters. The kaiju, well, you, you get about as close as you can to a Lovecraftian horror, because yes, at one point they are mentioned to be one of them. Two of them are described as Lovecraftian horrors, but um, yeah, none of the none of the human characters get a physical description. Description. Um, you just kind of get you, you get their pronouns, and even then, it's not like hi, I'm so and so. My pronouns are X, Y, and Z. And and the only reason I'm bringing this up is because one of them is a they them. And I didn't notice it until around halfway through the book. The same time I noticed, hey, I don't think we ever got a physical physical description of any of these people. Which, uh, holy shit. <laughs> As someone who's who wants to write herself, I like this. I, I really do want to try and, like, I, I want to try my hand at this, but at the same time, like, some of my characters, like, there's one character that has a really defining features, and I'm like, okay, well, now how do I draw attention to this without drawing attention to it? But either way, I, I like this. This is one of the, this is another reason why I really want a copy of this book, just to go back and reread and see if I missed anything. Or, again, mark out, like, hey, this is where I noticed the, the they them this is where I noticed um, but it started since here it it's like oh my gosh I really want this I, I really I like it yes please more more please authors out there more of this um, uh, okay so also the um, I, I like the fact that they didn't really go all out with crazy names for these kaiju. Um, yeah, because yeah, one of the things was like, oh, hey, that's Kevin. Wait, you have a kaiju named Kevin? Well, what else do you want us to name? Like, we don't have a Godzilla. We don't have a Rodan or a Mothra. It's Kevin, Bella, and Edward. And yes, that is a Twilight reference. Yes, they call it out in the book, too. And it's fucking hilarious <laughs> um I, again it's just like little things little things are just hilarious like even the very end when we have the the final confrontation with the bad guy they even call out like you're just trying to get me to monologue here aren't you yeah yeah they were <laughs> um and lastly, I did, um, lastly, there was another, there's, there is a, there are call-outs to the original Godzilla, and the original, you know, these are, the, the, these are the reasons why we have the kaiju as they are, and I won't go into details, but they, they do explain why God, you know, Godzilla was, like, a real thing in this universe, um, they explain how, you know, there, there are, again, there's the science of how and why. I won't go into details because that's just something that really you should read the book for. But they named the bases that 
are um, kind of the main focuses. They name them after the 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 cast and crew of the Godzilla fans. So you have um, Tanaka. Um, you have Tanaka base. What was it? Um, Honda. Oh, Tanaka base, Honda base, and then the airship that is on the the kaiju side of the barrier, as I'm gonna call it, is the Shobajin, which is another reason why I have Mothra here, because they name they name their airship after her little fairies. So. Um, yeah, they, they do pay homage. The author does pay homage to uh, OG Godzilla. And, um, God, I could go gush off of this book so long. Uh, I just, yeah, please read it. If there's any book that you, if you like science fiction, if you like kaiju, if you don't care that it's not a Japanese kaiju and it's an American one. Read it. Hell, get the audiobook. Get the Kindle version. I don't care. Just get it in your system somehow. Read it, listen to it, please. It's a 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed this book. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm kind of curious as to if I have any other books like this th um, this year. So far I've got um, Iron Widow, this one, and I did finish an audiobook that what like I will be recording later um, that also was is now kind of my talks of this year. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. <laughs> but anyways, Martha and I are going to sign off. Bye.